Well, Merry Christmas. Good morning. Merry Christmas. <laughs> well, welcome back to uh, Travels Tom and Lori. And we are at the farm. We broke all the rules and we traveled outside our state. <laughs> we are at the farm. You see the horses. And it's, and it's about 34 degrees. That's the high for today. Got a little bit, of, little bit of snow last night, not a whole lot. Yeah, I actually got more at our house, which yeah. is unusual. Yeah. So what are we going to do? We are going to, because I've kicked myself for not vlogging um, my parents' holiday dinners, because they make the most epic meals, so we're going to vlog my dad. Remember him? He's over there. <laughs> Doing his delicious deep fried turkey. In a oilless fryer. Oilless fryer. Oilless. So, all right, let's get to it. All right. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Duck. <laughs> well, this is a 18 pound turkey. Base plant with lemon pepper and peanut. And I'm going to put it in the airless fryer. It'll take about four and a half hours. As cold as it is, I'm going to give it a little bit extra time to cook today. That's my fur brother. That's Bert. Bert, sit. Good boy. So take the turkey as such, put it in the pan. And then because it's cold, I'll put a little bit extra oil inside the turkey, just for flavor. Turn my gas on. Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> it's already on. Okay. Now what model fryer is this? Old. Oh. <laughs> what's what's the benefit of a uh, oilless you fryer? You don't have the deep fried oil that splashes out all over the place, and people catch your house on fire. With. And that's the big thing about it. There we go. That's lit. That's lit. And I'll take my lid, put my lid on the top because it's so. There's the turkey. And the lid, all that does is just help hold the heat in there. In about four and a half hours. Five on a cold day. Five on a cold day. <laughs> we will have a deep fried turkey that looks like it just come out of an oil bat of uh, oil fryer. All right. You notice too though, every time we vlog with you, it's windy. <laughs> you must bring it. Got my duck here. <laughs> my duck stays with me. <laughs> Adventures of the duck. From Paul Tuckett, Kentucky. <laughs> That's where that duck came from. When you're grateful for the drone, for the breeze that it provides. This thing is like a gale force wind. That's mom's Christmas cookie. You see my hair blowing? It is hot up in this trailer. And this, that's not really a trailer, it's a house. But anyway, even if it was a trailer, it's fine. But that drone provides so much, like, relief. <laughs> it's, oh, watch, here it comes again. Look, watch my hair. 
<laughs> it's nice. It's not, my mom is cold natured, so I get it. She needs to heat up, but <laughs> this drone, if there was any way that Tommy could figure out how to make it hover above the bed while we slept, that'd be perfect. Mom's dinner rolls. Well, there's my mom's sweet potatoes. Um, she does those from scratch. And then there's cheese sauce and gravy under there. And my bad, I did not get a picture of the turkey when he pulled it out of the fryer. But there it is cut up. And there's some ham back there and some stuffing. And that's my niece, her boyfriend, and my daughter. And then there's Tommy. And then that was a fully loaded plate. We were all miserable. Tommy got his mini grinder. Y'all, it's snowing. <laughs> well, you gotta, we got look, you gotta look really hard to we see got, yeah. We got we got flurries. <laughs> Probably can't see it. So you can see the flag. You can see the flag. Yeah. We're still cut off my fingers and hands are so they get anything like that. Yeah. Yeah. It feels like something like that. It's, it's snowing more on this side of the house. So maybe we can catch some as it falls. Maybe. Yep. There you go. It's not much, but we'll take it. Snow on Christmas. That's pretty cool. Yep, there you go. Oh. Maybe it'll stick. I doubt it, but maybe. Go for a swim. <laughs> Start doing a Billy Joel um, downtown Brooklyn bebop session around the barrel. <laughs> Merry Christmas, ladies. Merry Christmas. dad and I knew that with time I'd bring him around. I didn't kill him even if sometimes I might have felt like it. I guess I'll see him on the flip side. Have a good one dad. I never had. So I lied about meeting my grocer today. Well actually Dr. Disco is my grocer so it's kind of true. We had a dance lesson in the VIP lounge but before he could get horizontal I strangled him with the red sock scarf. Where'd you steal that from? But it's all cool. Look I've made some mashed brownies why don't we all go chew up and forget this ever happened? <laughs> I'm on board. So, so two years I mean, in a row. Me a favor. Two yes. years in a row you've been the murderer. No, no, two no. years in a row I have guessed the murderer. Oh, no. you have guessed the murderer. Remember the, guessed it right. uh, the was Michael, the butler Michael. last That's year. That's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Cannot believe it.
What you doing there, Tommy? Doing collards. Is this your first time ever doing collards? Of course not. I'm from the south. <laughs> Are you excited? I'm not really. <laughs> Still got a job so, on uh, all that. Yeah, I got like... I think I got too much. So what you do is you take... And of course, get your stems off and you roll it up. Did you watch a tutorial or something? Of course not. I'm from the south. Hey, that's a nice looking shirt. I like it. <laughs> I didn't get that. <laughs> got our ham. Lord's got our beans going. There's what he's chopped so far. Here's my beans. It's the second bowl around. I think I got enough greens. Anybody in the southeast can come by and have some. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't know why the hell I thought I'd feed it so much. How many bundles was that? Two bundles. Two for four, you had to buy two. <laughs> Power buy? You had to, I guess. Hey, let me grab that vodka and get it off the counter. It's a remnant from last night. Be back. It's been all day cooking. It's <laughs> so, so what you do best, man. Y'all see my delicious bed head? I just got up, threw it up, which is not really any different than any other day, to be honest with you. But I know they say you're not supposed to do any cleaning or anything on New Year's, but kind of had to. So. Life don't stop. No, nope, it don't. And if I'm cleaning all year long, well, it's nothing different either. So. I'm just over here rolling dollar bills. He's rolling dollar bills, and I was mopping floors and dusting, vacuuming, wash dishes, because you know we we didn't do that last night after our oh, New Year's celebration. We, no, I mean we we didn't make a huge mess, but. We cleaned up the kitchen last night, but we did not wash the dishes, and we don't have a dishwasher, so. I do. Shut up, Tommy. <laughs> anyway, we'll be back. So, I got recruited. I got a lot of damn greens. <laughs> you know, when people put shit on sale two for four dollars, I had to buy two for some reason. That's <laughs> not. I mean, that's your restraint issue. <laughs> I think I think I think we could have done okay with just one. <laughs> but we can uh, can them. Well, I've been <clears throat> at this for three hours. It seems like it's not been three hours, but <clears throat> it's a bit of an exaggeration. Well, the time I did the bacon. And then wash these damn things three times. <laughs> but I only found one bug. Well, that's great. Only one. And I left him in here. What? It's just for flavor. You better not. Well, I wasn't sure what it was. and Maybe it was supposed to be there. I ain't eating 
ain't no bugs. Well, you won't know it. <laughs> I'm sure it wouldn't be the first time. So, yeah. Oh, that's a nice one. Look at that. So I think there might be possibly some leftovers. You think? That's what I'm saying. We can can them. Can some leftovers. You know? Yeah. You can them. Uh, get the vacuum. Uh -huh. vacuum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you here to help? Um, no, you're not here to help. is the last of the the collards is now January 31st <laughs> your, your hands are broke so what I yeah I'm, I'm just wilting away here mm -hmm. so what I've come up with I'm sure I'm not the only one to do this stack a bunch of them solid guns together then roll them up Work smarter, not harder, Tommy. Well, one leaf at a time was taking forever. Yeah, but you know, I like tedious tasks. So for me, one leaf at a time was fine. But I did do as you did. And we knocked it out pretty yeah, quick. We were done. Yep. So now eight hours of cooking. <laughs> <laughs> not that long. We'll be back. So now you put them on low. For how long? Like 42 days, I think. Something <laughs> like that. Actually, I think it's just a couple hours. And then, um, uh, they should wilt down. To like that. These are some that we put in eight days ago. <laughs> I think you're being a bit dramatic. But they'll all wilt down. And look at that. They already smell good. I love collars. They're like one of my favorite things. Well, we're going to try these out around about four hours. All right. I got a ham to cook, too. Yes, he does. Well, I'm kind of lying. I got a ham. Oh, gosh, my whole back got wet. I you need to wipe time. the... <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> so, there's your another toothpick. Yeah, I know. I keep finding them everywhere. What's that from? Oh, there's a, there's a bunch of them right there. What were they? What are that was um, from your uh, martinis last night, where I put the olives on the toothpick for you. Oh. So I got this uh, ham. Yeah. It's already pre cooked. All we have to do is heat it up. All right, we'll be back. Over and out. Ten four, good buddy. <laughs> Tommy did a crazy good job on everything. The only thing I did was beans, and they were really good. But, man, his collards were out of this world. And then my mom makes homemade sauerkraut, so I got some of that from her, and that was spectacular. It was, everything was really good. That's Tommy's homemade cornbread. It was really good. And there, that was uh, Wes's, my son-in-law's plate. All right. Well, we have finished this year. We are done. Our, look at my hair, y'all. I was playing ghost with my grandson. <laughs> our dinner's gonna be coming up very soon. Yeah, and what we were talking about earlier was some of our favorite videos this year. Yes. Yeah, I, I've got two or three that that were probably my favorite okay number one i think i don't know i forgot about one <laughs> but i think i think my i didn't forget number one for you <laughs> what was my number one your number one was the outer banks that was probably my most favorite because we had our daughter we had our grandson we had our in-laws my in-laws not hers <laughs> but um that that was probably the best family trip that we had this yeah, year that was good yeah but 
probably my number one actual trip was Curie. Curie was so emotional for both of us. I thought it was a great trip. Um, the museum was just so informative. It was. Yeah, you know, it, gave, it gave us... I already had the perspective, but it gave me the real perspective of all all military, not just what the the Curie Curie Museum was about. Curie 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 Curie. But yeah, that was that was probably two. Of, That was probably two of my favorites. One, mm -hmm. one was family. One was uh, very emotional. And you know, what was your third? If you had to guess, my third was probably going, probably going to the caverns up in yeah, that was pretty uh, great. Tennessee. Even though that one had like the least views, but that one was. Why are you backing up? God, don't do that. Come, come back. Come back. There we go. I mean, don't get too close because my hair, man. I'm telling you, having <laughs> a three-year-old grandson, man, it wreaks havoc. This is getting over problem. So, anywho, yes, I, I mean, the caverns were fantastic. Well, no, fuck that. What was your favorite? My favorite, definitely the Outer Banks, definitely Hell's Church. I know you didn't think much of that, but I, I did think it was cool, and I know what I felt when I was there, and it was, and, and, and I did feel something, and, and I'm not going to say okay, what, all right. what it was, but I did feel something. So, Outer Banks, Hell's Church, and then probably Chattanooga. So you're going to go to Chattanooga, you ain't going to go to the caverns. You're going to go to Chattanooga. Well, I mean, like, Chattanooga <laughs> as a whole. Yeah, I mean, you know. And I love Curie, don't get me wrong. Curie is one of my favorites, too, but. I, I think what, and we appreciate every one of you, but I think starting off in February of last year, mm -hmm. starting our vlog, we never thought we would have 87 no, we subscribers. No. We thought we'd be lucky to have 25. We got almost 5,000 views. Yeah. So, thank, thank you. you. You know, and we enjoy doing it. And we figured, you know, we're going to do it anyway. So, might as well, you know, do the videos. And, you know, if you go back and watch our very first one, it was, <laughs> it was so awkward. But not only that, though. And weird. Not only that. But, you know, now it's just more... Let's be fair, though. We picked the wrong time to start a travel vlog. Well, we didn't know in yeah, February know. where this was going to go. And but just went. we started a travel vlog in the middle of a pandemic. Yeah. Right? So, we had no clue when we started no. how to do it, what to do. And, and, then, and then, all of a sudden, we couldn't even travel. We couldn't even go anywhere because mm -hmm. everything was closed. Everybody was freaked out. Including us. We were freaked out, too, so it was like, when it all first started. And then, finally, we were both like, we can die here in this house, or we can get out and do some stuff, and, you know, whatever it is, it is. But, you know, I know a lot of people had a hard time. They did. You know, our... They still are. Yeah, our restaurant industry, our personality... Entertainment industry, industry. industry has kind of really, really Big suffered. Time. Yeah, so we, so we understand that, but yeah, we 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 didn't. No, we were able we to were fortunate. We were we were among the lucky people. <laughs> Look, he's crying. He's crying. We were among the lucky people. Our income wasn't disrupted. Our lifestyle wasn't disrupted. But we know personally, people. Mm. Who lost their jobs. Lost their jobs. Still aren't able to work. Yeah. You know, and stuff like that. And our heart goes out. Totally. Yeah. And we've had family members affected by COVID. We've been affected by it, we think. Because no, we, we think we we, we got it early on, back before there was testing for it. I've never been that sick in my life. But 
you know, we, we know people who have been affected personally by it. Four minutes, I can hold this phone up. Well. And we're at seven minutes. But anyway, we're at 87 subscribers. So, if you guys could do your thing and push us on to 100. By February. By February. February is when we started. By so our one year. If, if we can, can do 100 in one year. We'll do something. We don't know yet. But we'll do something for our 100th subscribers. Because we legit didn't even think we would make it this far. No. We thought 25, 30 max. Well, yeah. And it, it didn't start off by worrying about that. It started off by, we're going to travel anyway. Yeah, we're going to do it anyway. So, we're yeah. going to be off. Our dumbass selves. So we just started, you know. Just it took us a bit to get comfortable, but once we did, you know, this we are who we are, and we do what we do. But yeah, so if if you can push that over to a hundred, we'll do something. We promise we'll do something. We don't know yet what, but we'll do something yeah, to we, commemorate. We hadn't even thought about that far. So. No, because we're still not expecting. That's the bad thing. We're still not expecting. We didn't expect to be at 87, so yeah. we're st we're not expecting to hit 100. But yeah, we had that one that one video. Oh, Rodanthe. Tommy got terrified on Rodanthe Pier. Well, I'm afraid of water. <laughs> you act like you're afraid of water. But yeah, he that... won't even get on a boat. You won't get on a boat. You won't. I've been on boats. You've been on them, but you were terrified the entire but, time you, you know, were on them. That one, that one hit a thousand views. A thousand plus. It's not like so, one thousand four hundred views now, which we're grateful for. And we've crazy. got three other ones that are on up there. You know, six thousand eight hundred, or I mean, not six thousand eight hundred or six hundred eight hundred. Math, math is not her strong point. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> and but and yeah, I've been drinking because it's yeah, we got, we got, you know, 600 on one, 800 on one. Most of them are like 50, 60. So, yeah. we'd like to get that number on up to, uh, if y'all watch our videos, you know where that koozie come from. 40s and foul from Champions. Hey. <laughs> get us to 100, we'll send you a We'll send you one of those koozies. That's right. Pick your color. Pick your color. <laughs> but it's been a good year. Mm -hmm. I know it's been a horrible year, but it's been a good year for us. It so. has. You know, we can't complain. We really can't. We can, but ain't nobody going to listen. Well, I mean, we can, but we'd be lying. But you can always complain about something. Yeah, but you'd be lying, too. So, I mean, why bother? You know, but we're not liars. This is our sign out for the year. We love y'all. Happy New Year. I hope you enjoyed all the videos. And I hope you had a Merry Christmas. And there's more to come. And there's more to come. Bye. Until next time. Bye-bye. Well, there's no need for another intro, outro. But, so we'll just leave it at this. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you know when we upload new content. Till next time. Bye-bye.